Hi America, this is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you from my new title, The Pop Culture Psychic. And I usually have like um, something else that I um, prop my camera on, um, but I don't have it today. So it's kind of coming from a different angle, which is like, like this way, whatever. So, oh, and I usually like put out signs to tell you like where I work, telephone number, the website to go to, but I forgot that too. <laughs> so psychic I am. But apparently, I might be a little ditzy, but apparently I'm a really good psychic, so it is what it is. You can't have everything. So YouTube has this like editing thing where you could like post um, like an editing where you're like, in any case, I'll just put it in the editing part and you'll see it streaming across or flashing. Who knows? Who knows how I'm going to do it. But I'll make sure that it's added so that you still have the information, especially for the new people that are out there. Thank you, everyone, for um, joining my YouTube channel. I, it's so much fun. I just love it so much. Um, hmm, what else do I have to say? So I'm actually going to do a reading today on a real housewife. Now, I thought about doing um, Leanne Rhines and Brandy. That's a hot mess with those two people. But... Um, Actually, I'm going to do it on Adrian Maloof, who just got kicked off of <laughs> um, Real Housewives. I wonder why she got kicked off. I think I know why. <laughs> but I think that's the question we're going to ask today. Like, why did Adrian get released, released from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? And Adrian Maloof is the Maloof family that owns the Clippers, I think. Hope I'm right. <laughs> I'm not always right. But I am always psychically right, but I'm not always right with basic information, whatever. I never do my research. <laughs> um, but why did she get kicked off this season or forever? I, th I think she's off forever. Who cares? Um, I used to like her. And then pretty much, you know, well into the first season, I realized that she was a bit of a, bit of a bitch. Sorry. Um, she didn't take care of her husband. Like, she kind of made him look really stupid. And he seemed like he was such a sweetheart. You know? Well, whatever. Let's take a look at why did Adrian Maloof get kicked off of Real Housewives? Let's see. And what's going to happen from, from here for the last card seems to be pretty good for her. So let's take a look at it. Well, the first thing I'm getting is that she thought she had a position of advantage. She thought she could do anything, say anything. Um, and she thought she could fight the executives and the producers. Um, she actually tried to kick their ass. She actually tried to run the show, um, ironically. And I don't think I'm too wrong about that. Hopefully we'll hear about that during their reunion show. But she actually thought that she was top-notch that she could run the show, that she had a lot of power and a lot of creative power, not a lot of passion, but a lot of creative power, and that whatever was thrown at her, she could kind of call the shots. Get all that from this card. Um, she also had, out of everyone, she had a pretty tight contract. Um, I feel like the contract was readjusted the second year into it. Um, once again, I feel like the contract was tight because she and her husband both were um, professionals and they wanted to make sure that, um, I actually can't see, I think I should wear my glasses this time. Oh, God, I feel so much better with my glasses on. I don't know why they, I don't wear them. She wanted to make sure that she and her husband, um, who are both high-powered professionals, um, she's part owner of, you know, the Clippers and he is a plastic surgeon, was well protected. And out of all the other couples, she felt like she needed um, to update her contract the second year in, and they went for it. Um, they watched her really closely. She didn't realize with her demands that she was putting out there that they were watching her very closely. Um, they were getting a little fearful of, um, of her bark. They were getting fearful of her bark. They quite didn't like it. 
Um, there was some information coming out about her that was getting a little confusing. The information had to do with money, money, money issues. Does that make sense to you? But it does to me. It does to me. She's completely wealthy, don't get me wrong, but there are some money issues that are going to plague them. Money issues are going to plague them in a minute. Hmm. They treated her with kindness. They treated her with kindness. And they were confused by her need to be so powerful behind the scenes. They were completely confused about that. Um, every time something went down with another housewife, she got a little jealous. And they actually couldn't figure that out. Um, she was totally jealous of Brandy. Totally jealous of Vanderpump. Um, she was jealous of some of the other women that came on temporarily. And she's the cause why some of the other women are not on the show. Remember, there were some interim women. Um, if she didn't like them, they were out. They were out. Apparently, she had a lot of power. She had a lot of strength. A lot of power. They gave it to her. Oh, well. There was one producer that didn't care about her money and her, and her um, tight contract, supposedly. Um, and he began to rule the roost in that place. I also have to tell you that the information that got out that they blocked Brandy from us from hearing what Brandy said, that was done by design. It was done by the producers. They're just kind of over her right now. They were just, they're just kind of over her, and they decided that they would start to seep in some information that they all have been hearing. It actually was going to get much worse, by the way, um, in terms of what the producers were going to put out there. Because there's this one guy that actually didn't like her. Producer or executive, who knows. Um, and he was a game changer. So the last card I thought meant for her, because it looked like she was going to be victorious, I have to tell you, it wasn't. The executives of the show were victorious. They changed the game on her. And she was rendered powerless. They had no idea that there, there was a secret to take her down. Um, Brandy, sorry, you were used as a pawn. <laughs> or maybe you weren't used as a pawn. I think they may have asked you when the time allotted to bring the information to fruition. And by the luck of the drawer, it came out pretty much early into the season. They are completely happy that she's gone. They're ecstatic. Got to tell you, they didn't like her. The Bravo team did not like her. And she left with her tail between her legs. Her, her children, her husband. Um, they kind of they kind of left the show in a weird kind of way anyway, under protest. But the fact that she was not allowed to call any shots anymore, she left. She wound up leaving the show with her tail between the legs, with her, between her legs. That's what this means. She was not favored on the show. Look, she was a money holder. She took advantage of the money that she had. She walked away kind of saying, I'm done. I'm just done. Um, but I have to tell you, Maloof, they set you up. There you go. Should have gotten a reading from me. You could have nipped this. And you could have left with some dignity. Sorry. But you didn't. Um, is there a wine product coming out for you, Maloof? I think you're going to start maybe Maloof Wines or something like that. Not Maloof Hoof, like the um, shoes. I don't think you should do the shoes anyway, to be honest with you. Um, but I do see a wine product out there for you, which would be very, very lucrative. If you don't already have one, I'd be surprised if you don't already have like a line, a Maloof line. If you don't, wine is where you should be going into She wants to create another show for herself. I'm bored already. I hope Bravo doesn't do it because I'm bored already. Um, she wants to change her look, her persona. She thinks the public doesn't like her. That's, she, she's saying to herself, the way they see me, that's not me. That's not me. But you know what? It really is you. You're pretty ugly. I'm sorry. I think you're ugly. 
And I think you could be a much better person. And I think you had a wonderful platform to, um, to create you, to create Adrian. Because you know what? You're carrying the Maloof name, but who is that? But Adrian, now that's somebody that could have been created. But you know what? You hit behind your own title. I'm sorry. Should have thought about it better. Um, she wants to start her own show. I do believe that she's just going to create it. I do believe she's going to do it with her own money, so she's going to executive produce it. Um, I do believe that she wants to be in it, which is part of your problem. Um, creating a show would be a wonderful idea. You should not be in it. Sorry, that's the way I'm getting it. Um, it'll fail. It'll fail. Um, it'll fail and then come back again. Get revamped or something like that and come back again. And the second time around, it actually could be your love project and could work for you. All right, well, I'm 11 minutes. Um, I forgot what my question was. Oh, why did she leave? Um... She's a bit of a, not a nice person. I start to say a bit of a something. But you know what? It doesn't matter. She just wasn't a nice person. She was um, throwing her weight around. And to be honest with you, it's been going like that for the past few years. And they got tired of her. So you know what? They set you up. Should have gotten a reading from me. You would have been able to uh, see this and, and work it out with your power a little better. Okay, guys, Adrian, I'm really sorry. I really think that you messed up. I think that um, you're going to try and recreate yourself, and I think that you want your public persona to see you better. Um, I would say go for it, but you know what? In order for you to go for it, you actually, actually truly, truly have to be a nice person. It's not so easy for you. Still a lot of money around you, so none of that is going to disappear. Not that I want to disappear for you. Money is important, and I'm blessing for you, for you and your money. Um... There's a sense of you being in a public eye for a little bit longer, maybe about a year longer. And then you go to sleep. Nobody's going to hear your name after that. Um, so I'm sorry. I don't know what to say because I feel like this is a bad reading, but I don't know what to say. But Adrian, you kind of did this to yourself. All right, guys, that's pop culture psychic, pop culture news or pop culture psychic. I forget what my title is, but it was fun. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye.